Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So it's time for a brand new art challenge over on our Mission Inspiration Facebook group. And once again, I'll be creating an art journal page in my Circle Art Journal based on the prompts for November. So let me turn to my overhead camera and I'll show you what I'm gonna create using the prompts for this month. Okay, so here is the prompt card for November. So we've got sky blue, cloudy gray and sunset salmon and the words saw, wings, fly, balloon and feather, which I've already shown you. So I'm gonna be working obviously in my Mission Inspiration Circle Journal, um, but once again, because I'm running out of pages, didn't think ahead. <laughs> I've already cut out an appropriate sized piece from my mixed media pad. So color wise, um, sky blue, maybe a little bit lighter, but I've also got some turquoise here as well, which is a spritzer. I've got some elephant, elephant which is also going to work as my cloudy grey. Um, but for the sunset salmon, I've had a look in my collection. I haven't really got any salmon colours, but I have got some coral colours, which are almost the same. Um, so I've got coral and I've got coral shell, a lighter colour as well. So those are the colours that I'm going to be using for this art journal page. So flying high. What I'm going to do to start off with, I'm going to put a base coat down of spritzer. So I'm going to spritz the page with that turquoise blue to start off with. Um, just to kind of create that, that ground. So I'm hoping this is going to work first time. I've got some, actually let's get some kitchen roll. Because you know me, I'm probably going to end up getting this stuff everywhere absolutely everywhere so let's just pop a piece there and I'm not going to go really really heavy the, the trick today I think is going to be restraint um, because there is the possibility of really overworking this today I can see that already so I'm not going to do that so I'm going to just do a couple of coats first of all so there's my first layer so let me get that dry and then we can carry on. Okay so that's the first layer of turquoise blue so I'm going to turn it round and do it again. And then get that dry. Okay, so there is my first base layer of that kind of cloudy, well not cloudy, that sky blue. So what I want to do next is I want to bring in this stencil. So this is a hummingbird stencil from um, Indigo Blue, my friends at Indigo Blue. And I don't know whether or not this stencil is a still available or whether they actually ever did release it. Um, I know the last time I looked on the website that it, it wasn't there. So whether I missed it when they released it or whether they just never got around to doing it, which sometimes happens. I've got stencil designs that I've had done um, that I wasn't particularly happy with, so I never released them. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is I've got a, a baby wipe, a, a wet wipe, and I'm going to go back through and do that kind of ghosting technique um, where I remove the colour that I've just put down within that stencil. Now this baby wipe has got lots of water in it, I just want a damp one, I don't want a soaking one. So I've just taken off the excess water and I'm just going to double up on the baby wipe, just wrap it around my finger and I'm just going to gently go around and remove with that colour that I've already put down. Create some lighter points in that background. And I'm just going to go very gently. And I can feel that it is actually catching those spikes in the actual design. I 
catching on the baby wipe. Sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. The feet are going to be difficult. <laughs> So I'm just lifting that colour back off. I'm just pressing into the, the areas of the stencil to lift the colour. Just being very gentle, not pushing too hard. see we've got a kind of ghosted image of the hummingbird so I'm just gently clean that off still a little bit wet okay and the beauty of this is you've done it once you can lay it back down again and go in for a second time if you feel that you want to remove a bit more colour. Try and keep it in the same position as last time. much better, a bit more pronounced. So let's get that dried off. So as it's dried it's getting a little bit lighter which is perfect. I know sometimes the temptation when you're doing an art journal page is to throw everything at it um, you know really go over the top but as we've proved many times before, that sometimes when you're doing an art journal page, less is definitely more. <clears throat> okay, so next up, the grey, that subtle grey. So let's get some down onto the craft mat and then pick up a little bit on a sponge. And then I'm going to lay that stencil back down again. Try and get it in exactly the same place. And this time I'm just going to create a little bit of kind of depth. around the feet area and a little bit just a little bit around the top part of the wing and just around the side like I said just a little bit of um, of depth I don't want to go too mad with that. So I'll just clean that up. Okay, so again, this time <coughs> I'm going to come in with that coral colour. Put some of that down. And I'm going to use the same sponge. Don't mind if I get a little bit of that grey in with that coral colour. So let's come back in with that stencil. Here we go. Try and get it as close as we can. And then start putting a little. 
little bit of that colour over the top. I know hummingbirds aren't this colour, but we've got those colours a little bit on the head. We've got these colours um, that we're using as part of the challenge, so it's an art journal page, so artistic license is allowed. So I'll lift that off and then bring you that darker colour. Because I've gone light to dark, we can we can still use the same the same sponge. So just try and line that stencil back up. And this time we'll go a little bit darker that dried off and cleaned up. I know it's not looking exactly wonderful at the moment but we'll now try and pick out the detail a little bit more. Let's get it dried. Right now that that paint is dry I'm going to start picking out some of the detail and going around the outsides and I could use the stencil and just go around again um, but I want to try and do this kind of freehand so first of all I'm going to go around the eye and then the outside of the head I'm not going to go on the inside and I'm going to come around almost as though I'm just following the outside pattern and then I'm going to come down this way like that and then I'm going to pick up the middle and then on this side Maybe just a little bit across the top. I'm changing my mind as I'm going. Just to kind of create that little bit of an impression. So I think the eye just needs a little bit extra. Maybe just a tad. Very subtle, very light. 
<coughs> now I've also got a Stabilo white pencil. I have got somewhere kicking around a pencil sharpener. Messy kit. There it is. Okay, so we can also just do it's just kind of lighten up just by adding a few. It's one of those things that there's no kind of right or wrong with this kind of thing. You just do what you think you want to do or what you think might look good. See, I like the fact that I've got that kind of shaded colour on the neck. And this is only kind of supposed to be a representation, if you like, not a realistic or photo realistic drawing or picture of a hummingbird. When all said and done, it is an art journal page, so you are allowed as much license as you want to grant yourself, really. <coughs> and I'm happy with that. Excuse me. <coughs> I've got a lid here and I don't know where it's come from. Oh, it's come from my spritzer. There you go. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is just to introduce some white into the page. So, I've got some white acrylic paint. I'm going to pop some of that down. And get a sponge. Now this is a natural sponge, a piece of natural sponge. And this is the kind of sponge that I like to use when I want to add just light effects. Almost kind of cloud effects. Just to break up a background. As you can see it's extremely light. It's a subtle effect and because we've got that spritzer on the page and there's a little bit of water in there as well, it probably will pick up a little bit of that colour. It just helps to break up that kind of background even more. But it will tone down, like I said. It just kind of gives you that impression that it's not a solid kind of background. Okay, so now we've got that, I want to add a few little darker spots in the background. So again, I've got some black, or I could use dark blue, no let's use black, just to um, bring in those tones that we've got, the, the low lights or the highlights if you like. 
the black bits around the bird. The bird. Okay, so I'm just going to mix in that black with some water. Just put my hand over the bird. Should be enough for that. Oh, I just grab a wet wipe so I can clean up this mess and I'll get that dried off and then I'll be right back. Right, so I've got, I want to add a little bit of script into there now. So I've got a mini stamp from Indigo Blue, Collector's Edition number two, French script. So again, just to break up that kind of background, I want to do just like a gray, um, a little bit of subtle stamping in the background. So I've got Hickory Smoke, which is a, a bit of a gray color. Just going to add a little bit of that, just kind of around the page. Just add another little bit of interest. But I'm not going to mad with it. He says. Just to kind of add some more interest into the background. I just clean that stamp a little. And then just dry that off quickly. Okay, so that's dried off. So what I've done now is I'm taking the main theme, Flying High, and I'm actually going to use that as the slogan or the phrase for this art journal page. And I'm just going to go around the outsides, just using that hickory smoke again, just to kind of make this pop against the background. But I've also printed out the words in the same typeface that I used for that defying gravity because hummingbirds do that don't they they kind of just hang there in mid-air not going anywhere so what I'm going to do with that just glue that down um, if I can find a glue stick there we go that dilutions one there Ew. It's gonna be scuzzy, isn't it? Let's see if we can get rid of that. Didn't know glue sticks went off, but there you go. So add some glue to the back. And we can stick that down there. that to dry and grab yeah there we go it's come off put a little bit of glue onto the front so like I said sometimes when you're doing that journal page you don't want to do 
everything. You don't want to throw everything, including the kitchen sink at it. You just want to do something nice and gentle and subtle and you don't have to go mad. Um, you could always, if you want to, just go around the outside of the page just to kind of create a bit of a frame which I think I'm going to do just in that grey but don't forget the challenge is just to try and use those three colours in your project but white and black are allowed as well they always have been because they're not really colours white obviously is an absence of colour <laughs> so you can create a nice kind of subtle border all the way around just to kind of finish off your page if you want to and of course your journal tea mood so I'm not particularly in the right kind of frame of mind or mood today to do, like I said, an all-in kind of art journal page. I wanted to do something a bit more subtle, a bit more um, subdued, a bit more calmer, because that's just the mood that I'm in today. So what I'm also going to do, just quickly, I'm going to just flip the page over. Um, now then, where's it going to go in my art journal? We said, so that's October's. So that is going to be November's, and I'm going to put December's page in there. So I'm going to stick it in here. So it's going to go in there. But what I will do, okay, so we're going to try and see if we can fold this in half now. Like so. Just gives that a little bit of persuasion. Hopefully everything's stuck down well enough. Yep. Now then, what did I do with that glue stick? I put it away, didn't I? All the way around. And then let's take the book. Just slightly smaller than the page by design. Stick that down into the journal and then fold that in half or maybe into two, into three. No, I think half's going to be enough because I did it right. And again, make sure we get the right side. Stick that one to the inside of the page. For November. So November's mission on the outside of the page. And again, what I'm going to do is just sign and date it. And today is the 7th of October, October, November, 7th of the 11th. And I think I'm going to call this page done for this month. I hope you've enjoyed watching that. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share the video with your friends. And don't forget, if you want to join in with our monthly art challenges over in our Facebook group, um, there's a clickable link in the description area below. All you have to do is just click it and ask to join. And there's now just over four and a half thousand people in there sharing, commenting, and having a fantastic supportive environment um, in which to share your art. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.
I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels, because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.